Hello everyone, it's Karen Sam, good to have you today, it's going to be another vinyl update. Now this is vinyl update number 24. 24. <laughs> Done 24 of these so far, oh, probably loads more to go. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, this is probably going to be the final, the last vinyl update of uh, 2020. Uh, not the last video of 2020, I might do some more within the before the year goes out. Um, but then we're going to show over all the things I've recorded over the last month, within like month of December. Uh, so we've got a few CDs, a few 7 inch singles, a book, and quite a lot of 12 inch LPs to, to go through. So uh, let's just get down to it. So we'll go over the CDs first. First I've got from my uh, record shop in Sockets, and then uh, one from a charity shop also in Sockets. This is Jefflin's ELO, Alone in the Universe. This is their 2015 album. This is Jefflin's ELO and the Electric Orchestra's comeback album. But this is when I sort of um, read about the Peter was getting into Jefflin and ELO. Uh, after I saw the Mr. Blue Sky Jeff Lynne documentary on BBC4, I really sort of get into Jeff Lynne. I know about Jeff Lynne because he produced people like Roy Orbison, uh, Tom Petty and George Harrison. But he was in the Traveling Wilburys as well. So I knew about Jeff Lynne, but I didn't know much about ELO. So, so yeah, this was when ELO came back after like, a, I think it was 1986 when the last album was. But uh, yeah, it was really, really great to see Jeff Lynne back. And uh, yeah, really interesting cover. I haven't yet heard the album, but she's having a big album. Next up we have Elton John, Wonderful Crazy Night, his 2016 most recent album. Oh, it makes another one. <laughs> it's a CD. Quite a nice picture down the cover. And this next CD I got from a charity shop, also in Sawclips. This is Glen Campbell Greatest Hits. See, I have a vinyl accomplished of Glen Campbell. Um, and I've got a CD Greatest Hits, so I think I'm covered. I think that's my Glen Campbell collection done. <laughs> but, and I got a book from a charity shop in Quinnan. This is the... Uh, Homer Bound, The Life of Paul Simon. This is right by Peter Arms Carlin, who wrote a book about Bruce Springsteen as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what this book's about. I think it's about his life. Uh, it's, it came out in 2016. So this is a recent book. It goes up to his uh, album Stranger to Stranger in uh, 2016. So his whole life until that point, pretty much. Uh, let's try to find a photo in here. This is him with George Harrison. George Harrison's here. It's, uh, Paul Simon. I don't know who the guy is in the middle, but uh, Paul and Art Garfunkel. So, uh, yeah, quite interesting to find there. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd get that. Now, these uh, first few singles I got from my record shop, and a few I got today in an antique shop in Presswick in there. Um, but, uh, so yeah, let's go to it. So, Queen, we have the theme for Flash with Football Fight from 1980, both from the Flash Gordon soundtrack album on EMI. I Want It All, one of my favourite ones, with Hang On in there, on Parlophone, 1989. Breakthrough, oh, that's my phone there, I don't know what that's all about, with uh, Stealing, on Parlophone, 1989 too. And that's it from the Socket Record Shop, and the few I got today, I've only got four from Pressbook today, but I think I did good, but, um, uh, basically, I didn't have a lot of time to go through them all because I was out on a bus run with my dad, so I didn't have a lot of time to go through everything, but next time I'll get some more singles when I'm down there, okay? But, some people have got, this is Ringo Starr, Hey Baby, and Lady Gay, 1976 on Polydor. Queen, Tie Your Mother Down, with, uh, You and I. Freddie Mercury, In My Defense, 1992, with, uh, Love Kills, the Wolf Euro version. That's about the telephone. Michael Jackson, this is given to me with full colored poster as well, but like the, um, uh, the Heal the World single, which I showed in my singles collection video. So unfold it. This is the record with Dirty Diana on the other side. Not too sure why that's on the B side because Dirty Diana was already released as a single back in 1980. Eight for the bad album. There's the poster with Michael Jackson, the guitar slash, who is the guitarist for the Guns N' Roses. So that's it for the singles. Now we're going over all the 12-inch records. First two come from my Sockets record. Quite a lot of these come from my Sockets record. This is um, the Beatles. That means a lot. This is un this is like a selection of like studio outtakes from 1963 to 1966. All the songs that are on here. Quite a lot of songs on here. I must admit. Um, I haven't heard of this before. This is quite a recent thing. I think it's a bootleg. I don't know if it is a bootleg, but it's one I've never quite seen before, including some photos I'd never seen before. So yeah, it was really, really interesting to find this. Um, and it's on this customised label there. On Omi. It's meant to look like, meant to look like an EMI kind of thing. And I think that's just a knockoff, really. And this next one is really interesting. Quite a lot of these, like, 
new coloured vinyls, stuff like that. So this is what the one, the coloured one I got. This is Van Halen for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. This was their 1991 album. And I um, I know what you're all thinking. Is it an original? I'm afraid not. Because this album is really, really rare to find on vinyl. It's not easy to find on vinyl at all. Uh, originals of. This is a slightly modern reissue. I don't know wh where this is from, but there's all the songs there. But um, it has this... Uh, insert which is what the original inner sleeve was. I've actually seen quite a few people who get this on like a Van Halen fan group on Facebook but it's on red vinyl which is what makes it really cool and is the attraction of this record is on it's on red vinyl. So really really pleased to have it. I know it'd be nice to have an original but those are you're looking into like loads and loads of money for that uh, depending on where you get it from from like a foreign country or if you're Getting it from like you know the UK, which could be really difficult. It could be really really difficult to get your hands on uh, an original of this. But I'm still pleased with this copy. So uh, this will do. Van Halen for unlawful con knowledge. Now about a couple of days later, I went back and I got this one. This is Johnny Cash and I Walk the Line. This is like music from the film, from a film called I Walk the Line, which I think Johnny Cash did the songs and music for. Yes, music composed and song by Johnny Cash. It says on the back there, and these are all the songs that are on the album, as well as his big hit, I Walk the Line. He did a song, I think, called F Flesh and Blood on here. And uh, there's a sign too, I think there's some instrumentals on here. Um, so yeah, this is quite an interesting find. I didn't, I never, I think I'd, I think I'd heard of it, but I don't think I'd seen it before. Um, kind of similar to what Simon and Garfunkel did for the graduation. I think they did the music for this one. Um, but yeah, this was one I'd never seen before. So it says it's up here. The original soundtrack recording, oh, and it's on CBS Records. There's the inner sleeve, and we're on a different CBS label. This one, on blue CBS label. Um, so yeah, that one. Trying to get it back in. It's difficult to get it back in. There we are. There we are. Yeah, quite a nice picture in the back there. I must admit. Yeah, bigger picture, and then the one on the front. Okay, so the uh, next uh, the next um, item is is going to be this ELO 12 inch single, Sweet Talking Woman. This was 1978, 1978, um, with Blue Bird is Dead on the other side. Now this is really cool because this is a color vinyl version. Now it's not every day you see these kind of things, but this is on a nice purple vinyl. Yeah, I've got the seven inch single, so I thought, yeah, I might like the 12 inch of this. But never mind, it was on color vinyl, so I saw it. It's purple. Hmm. I've also got a 12 inch of ELO's Shine Little Light on white, which is on white vinyl. And I think there's quite a lot of these on like different colours and different uh, all different releases. So uh, yeah, they might be nice to have as a collector's piece. Who knows? <laughs> okay, next, uh, now this is a double LP that I got from my charity shop in Kilwenning. Now, uh, I was never expecting to find this there. This is the Jacksons Live. This is a double live album of the Jacksons uh, Live. Uh, a lot of songs from the Triumph as well as Michael's uh, Off The Wall album and solo career. So yeah, really interesting find. This was recorded a lot on their like Triumph tour. It's a gatefold sleeve and it's a double LP. Both on Epic Records with these nice inner sleeves. Yeah, like that photo. And this is the second inner sleeve. I'll just show you one of the records because they're both uh, identical in terms of label on Epic Records. <coughs> so there's that one. So really nice to find that. I was really, really amazed to find it in a charity shop because it's not something you see every day. And it's got a great cover as well, I must admit. This is the Jacksons live from 1981. Next up, uh, more thing, one from my Sockets uh, record shop. This is uh, Rock On with Buddy Holly. This is a MFP compilation from 1980 of different songs. It's got like rock and roll in it. And I'm not too sure why, but Crying Wayne Home, I don't think it's rock and roll. Neither is Pegasus Got Married, neither is Every Day. Uh, so yeah, some songs, I'm not too sure about, but anyway, this came out in 1918, it's on MFP, which is like a budget record label, or music for pleasure is what it means, nice oval design on it. Quite nice cover though, wasn't it? Quite nice cover. Never seen it before, so that would get it. 
And the next one's an online purchase. Um, now I got this early in October when it came out in CD, but I didn't get the vinyl of it. Well, I did on Amazon quite recently. Bruce Springsteen's latest album, new album, Letter to You, which you should listen to because I think it's a great album. It got to number one this year. It's amazing. I just love a lot of songs of this of this record. It's difficult to choose what, what ones I would like because I really like them all. There's a grateful sleeve, nice picture of Bruce. And now these are probably the inner sleeves, but they're they're too big to like fit inside the inside the the cover. So I think it, they just put them in the gateful sleeve, which I suppose is not ideal, but anyway. I mean, it does come with a nice book. With all the lyrics, to all the songs and photos as well. And even these kind of photos. Some pictures I think you have to turn over. Yeah, quite a lot of nice pictures in here, and this is the record on Columbia, but it's on a customised um, label, Bruce Springsteen, and uh, Letter. If you haven't played it yet, but it should hopefully sound really good. And the second LP um, is has special because it's got an etching on the other side of the second record. So it's really nice to see you there. So that, really great to have it, really great album, I really recommend it, Bruce Springsteen and Letter to You. And these last four come from my Sockets record shop and uh, yeah, so there are, this is uh, Paul Simon's debut album from 1972, well debut solo album, I don't know if it's really counted as a debut solo record because um, he released an album called the Paul Simon Songbook in 1965 but that was like, uh, I don't know if it was really a solo album but anyway this is probably his first actual solo album with this hypsucker there. Plus the Smash Hits, Mine, Child Rooney, Mini Julio, Down by the School Year, which I know are both uh, great songs. Uh, this is 1962 on CBS. Uh, is it in a sleeve? With the lyrics to all the songs. I, I think it's original on this CBS label. So, yeah. So this was released after he and Art Garfunkel broke up. So quite nice to have there. Means I'm, I'm, I think I'm somewhat complete in my Paul Simon uh, record collection. Uh, the exception of songs for Kate Man, uh, You're the One, Surprise, So Beautiful So What, and Strange Strange. Oh, actually, I've got So Beautiful So What, but Strange Stranger don't you have on vinyl? Uh, but yeah, but I think the songs from Kate Man and Surprise are quite hard to find, but anyway, Strange Stranger, you know, I've gotten vinyl, so uh, yeah, really nice to have that one. Next up is the pick of Billy Connolly. Now Billy Connolly is a very famous Scottish comedian. This is like a best of compilation of some of his most funny songs and skits. There's the songs there, and there's like albums you can get from Billy Connolly. I've got those two. Hoping to find those ones as well someday. But it's on uh, Polydor Records. This came out in 1981. It's a really funny guy. Quite, quite, quite a lot of his uh, stand-up DVDs. So yeah, really funny. Next we have Elton John, Jump Up from 1982. This is on Rocket Records. Uh, one that I've not yet had, I think I've got, I've now got all of Elton's 80s albums and the 70s albums and the ones you can get in vinyl, because I think a lot of 90s and 2000s ones are really difficult to get in vinyl, but uh, hopefully we'll get more Elton records of the, if they re-release them. Yeah. Now unfortunately I cannot pull out the gatefold because it's stuck and if I would try, if I would try and like unpeel it, it would like damage a lot of the inside, I think it's probably had some water some water like on the some point in the game fold and I can't show you it fully so if I get another copy and I'll, I'll probably show you the full game if I get another copy because the cover's a bit uh, not that great but I'm not going to try and handle it as much but it's got the great song Blue Eyes on here as well as Empty Garden Hey Hey Johnny which is a song that he um, 
wrote for, as a tribute to John Lennon. And this is the Rocket label, 1982, this one. And the last record I have is a really special one. This is the Buddy Holly story. And this is a 1959 compilation um, that was released after Buddy had died. Um, <clears throat> now, I've got this on another name, Ray Vaughan, uh, which was released in the 60s. This is the original release in mono. I hope to get the Buddy Holly story volume 2 as well. I know they did a second volume this as well. Really cool to have. This is mono on Coral Records. There's a label there. And there we are, that's it for Vinyl Update 24. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I did show quite a lot of things uh, to, today. I bought quite a few things in the last month. Uh, uh, next Vinyl Update is probably going to be in 2021. So this is the it for the 2020 Vinyl Updates. Uh, unless I get more in between. <laughs> but anyways, uh, hope you liked it. Um, hope you have a good Christmas coming up too. And uh, I'll see you next time on the channel. Till then, see you later.